Hey guys, today we're here, we're going to talk about installing shrubbery. I've got this skip wall here, we've, got, we've already got a couple installed. <laughs> One thing to take a quick note about, these little gold mounds pyrena right here, they, they don't look the hottest in the world, but it is fall and um, also it's just some plants that I had left over we didn't use on a job and so I brought them to my house. But, you can see that I've got this plant. It looks like it's way too high out of the ground right there. But once we get finished with this bed, we've got a tree going in and, and this next skip wall. We're going to bring two or three inches of mulch in here, and that brings it right up to grade. So the number one plant failure thing I see for mortality is planting the plant too deep. So let's get started here. We cheat a little bit. We use an auger, so it's going to be a little loud for just a second, but we'll show you. Typically, if I'm planting like a one-gallon plant, I'll typically put about one gallon of soil amendment in there. These are potted a little different. Those are seven gallons, I believe. So I'll just go about half of that rate. So, and then I come back in and mix it up. What I don't do is I don't dig my hole and have all the sides real hard and then just put soil amendment directly around that spot basically like putting the plant in a pot in the ground so if you're digging with a shovel or something like that or even an auger you want to make sure you scarify the sides of the hole a little bit so those new roots have ability to hit that the original soil and then if you do soil movement, mix it in with the dirt that you pull out so we do this real quick <laughs> that thing like a blender almost slings it around a little crazy but you can just mix it up with a shovel being in this red clay like that that organic soil man it really helps out a lot if you take that pot or if you take that plant that's grown in the nursery in that pot and it's happy as it can be getting watered all the time and you stick it in the red clay soil it just doesn't do well so we, we mix that soil amendment and then we also add just a little bit of fertilizer at the time of installation just trying to help it set down some roots. Once I've got my hole dug, one important thing is I don't really want the bottom of the hole to be real soft because if it's a big heavy plant, ball and burlap especially, it's going to settle just a little bit when it gets gets in the ground. So you don't you want to make sure that the, the base is firm. Try not to just handle your plant material by this. Make sure you grab it by the pot and the root ball. If you grab it too much by this, you'll end up breaking it out of the root ball. Alright, here's another key thing. You can see all the roots are just growing around and around on this plant. I'll either take my pocket knife if I don't care about it getting dull, or use a shovel. And just go through there and just kind of rough that up just a little bit. If you don't do that step right there, that the plant, the roots are just going to continue growing in that circle like that. Once you get it in there like that, 
I want to pick the best face of the plant to, to look out to the side that I'm going to see it from. We're trying to screen off the neighbor here, so we're so I want the good side obviously towards this house. To get it, get it level right there, and then start my back still. Now this next step, if I got any rocks or something, I'm gonna take it out, but it's on a slope here, so if I don't if I don't do anything, I can't water this plant really. The water's just gonna run off the hill. So I gotta bring this up. I don't really have to have one in the back. It's naturally gonna hold the water right there. But I just gotta build a little water saucer right there. Try to really pack that in. <laughs> you want to be higher on the front side. That's obviously where you're going to have your first spillover whenever you're adding the water. You can see right there the valino come in. I leave a couple of inches of depth right there because <laughs> remember, I'm going to bring all this in with mulch right here and cover this. When I mulch this plant, all this will fill in, but one key th note here, I want to keep my mulch, I want to basically see this top of this plant right here, right where it was growing. I don't want to cover it, I'm going to end up holding too much moisture right there around the trunk of the plant, open up for a lot of diseases and other stuff like that, it's just not good, so bring that mulch up. There again, let's back up. By the time you bring the mulch directly up to the top of this plant, two inches right there, then then that's that little bit of dirt right there is going to be exposed. And it, it won't be too deep, so it'll end up working itself out. So next what you want to do is take a water hose. I typically water it before I mulch. I'll take and plug this in with a water hose and just keep blasting that water in there at different points and try to get any of the air pockets out of there. Air pockets will kill your plant as well. And once I plug it in and make sure all the air is out, then I'll come back in and mulch it. After the plant is in there, what I do for watering, I just pretend like this, this plant is in the pot and I'll take my hose and I'll fill the water up. I'll fill my water well up once, let it drain down, do it again, and I'll, I'll repeat that process three times. And that's pretty sufficient. Um, as far as watering it so and then just keep it up from there so that's how we do it thanks